of uh, my beaches up north in February. October 23rd near South Haven, Michigan. In this beach I was here yesterday, I found a ton of awesome glass and uh, came back today to try and find some more, see if I missed anything, and I did. Oh, I hope there's a bunch more. This is awesome. Oh, look at that. Wow. Two and one. Almost. That, my friends, is a Petoskey stone. The second one I've ever found. Just as I was leaving the beach. After about three hours. Didn't even see a piece of one. Until this. It was like, I don't know. I get kind of wishy-washy, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it's like it was left for me for a reason. Super cool. I'm in love. Hey everybody, I'm back after a long kind of four-day weekend over on the western side of the state of Michigan, which happens to be the eastern shores of our Great Lake called Michigan. <laughs> um, I'll try and attach a map here so people that aren't familiar with the Great Lakes um, up here in the Midwest can uh, kind of get a idea of where I go rock hunting and glass hunting especially. The started on Friday. I had the entire day to myself and I went out and I want to say I slayed the beach glass. <laughs> um, unfortunately my phone was really acting up because I wasn't really getting a signal and it just, I don't know, it didn't even, I don't understand why this happens to me. 
all the time. I start recording a video and I'm out in a remote place and it just freaking dies on me. Obviously, I'm thinking I need a new phone, which I keep saying I'm going to get, but it's just such a pain to do that. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, here are two days worth of finds from approximately three different beaches near South Haven, Michigan. And, oh my gosh, I couldn't have asked for anything more. I, I'm still kind of shocked because I was not expecting to find the quality nor the size. This one, this was the best. Um, oh, hang on. There we go. Kind of a lighter... Um, you know, aqua color. There's some bubbles there that, you know, after the tumbling around in the lake got exposed, so to speak. Those aren't chips. Oh, I could make something awesome with this, as well as a lot of the rest. The best piece of manganese was this one. Rather pink or purple. Uh, I found a lot of interesting pieces of metal as well. And this was sticking up from a pile of rocks. All I saw was this, and it kind of looked like a weird seed or something off of a tree. There's a lot of different trees out there I'm not familiar with that we don't have over here on this side of the lake. But I, upon further inspection, I think it's an odometer of some sort or a some sort of gauge where you can see the hole here and try and set this up there it used to be covered with a little pane of glass and it spins to dial it back you know I, maybe it came off a boat but or a car no clue but it's an outstanding shape and I'm not super knowledgeable on types of metal. Like this one, it's not rusty at all, so I'm thinking either bronze, brass, or copper. <laughs> uh, there's some greenish staining in it, but yeah, it's like these little gears were kind of like press fitted onto this stem. So I think it's neat. You know, make something really cool out of that. Oh, there's so much. There's so many other things. This massive piece of melted lead. I find a lot of lead, actually, but they're like, oh my gosh, tiny little bits, you know. Um, this is a dandy. I'll probably melt it down and make some um, fishing jigs. For us for the spring for the walleye fishing run up here in northeast Wisconsin. I have a little smelting pot. So yeah and then that beautiful Petoskey stone I found. You know I'm not I don't know exactly where to go over there on that side of Michigan to find the big ones. I, I'm thinking Lake Huron is probably one of the best areas I have uh, heard about. But, you know, this is number two for me. Second one I've ever found. Here. I'll... Here. I'm going to polish it by hand with different stages of... Um, sandpaper that I have. See how it turns out then. I don't think it'll take me too long. You know, some people probably would, oh, the dark spots in the middle make it junk. Well, it's beautiful to me. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going to try to keep this short as always. Um, there's some decent septarian nodules otherwise known as the michigan lightning storms we found not too many of them this time i'm gonna 
go out on a limb and say that the best time of the year to find them over on those shores are in late winter, early spring, because that's when, oh my gosh, we got a ton. Also, quickly, here is, I want to call it a cousin of the Petoskey Stone. This is a Charlevoix Stone. Kind of looks like snake skin. I have a really big one of uh, this variety that I found a couple years ago near uh, Traverse City. Actually, I found it in Leland, Michigan, where everybody goes to find those Leland blues, the blue stones. So, yeah, a lot of cool stuff. I'm charging my black light currently, my flashlight. That might be a uh, fluorescent soda light. Otherwise known as the Uperlite rack. Oh, lastly, I think it's chert. But the coolest piece of chert I have ever found. All right. I will be back this coming weekend from my uh, home shores here. See what we can find after the 14 foot waves we had the last two days. That should be interesting. All right. Everybody have a great rest of your week and good night.